The smartest way to get a six pack fast. This transformation took me 30 weeks. Between these two videos, I've dropped a total of 39 pounds with this very simple diet. At my heaviest, I weighed in at 202 pounds, and at my very lowest, 163 pounds at a rate of losing between 1 to 2 pounds per week. One month ago, I did a podcast with my coach Cliff Wilson, a world renowned natural bodybuilding coach turning over 115 people into pros, 85 pro titles, and 13 world championship titles. And he says, a minimum of 30 weeks to make this transformation happen. But what if I could show you the smartest way to see your six pack in half the time, or even a quarter of the time? The truth is we all have a six pack, also known as your rectus abdominis. If you're watching this video questioning how to find yours, you most likely fall into either one of these three problem scenarios. Scenario number one, you have a poorly developed six pack. Scenario number two, you have a high body fat percentage and you simply can't see them. And scenario number three, you're both at a high body fat percentage and have a poorly developed six pack. Visually, it looks like this for scenario one, because you don't have a well-developed muscle tissue on your abs, even at a lower body fat percentage, you can barely see them. They just don't pop and maybe under the right lighting conditions, there is some hope for them. For scenario two, which is the case of most people, our body has many fat deposits on our abdomen, which doesn't allow us to see our six pack despite having a strong core. Finally, with scenario three, a poorly developed six pack and a high body fat percentage has never allowed you to see your six pack, even when you've tried dropping body fat percentage overall. In this video, I'll be sharing the smartest way to get a six pack and fast and being able to keep it year round. This video will be about the practical things you can do to make those apps pop and my biggest secrets for success. First, let's figure out where you currently are in terms of body fat percentage. Research has shown that males typically need to hit 12% body fat for their full six pack to show and for females 17%. Let's assume I'm at 30% body fat and we want to lose 0.5% per week. It will take me an average of 36 weeks. Let me know in the comments below how long it will take you and I'll tell you how you can speed it up. So step number one, a hyper protein caloric deficit. Let me explain. Let's tackle scenario two and three first. Those who have a high body fat percentage, have a look at all my clients before they joined. They all focused on one major aspect to reveal their abs and I incorporated a few more tools to allow them to maintain their physique year round. I did this with my client Matt who lost 10 pounds in one month and saw his abs. Same with Tuhin and Avalon's. If you're watching this video, it's my guess that you've been struggling to finally get your six pack to ever show. You're either just starting out or you've been trying for years to get into shape. But the problem is there's so much noise and information out there, most people don't know which program or coach to trust. I have attempted to, to do the weight loss on my own. I definitely would have been as successful as, as it is now, but, um, and that's what I needed. I needed the guidance. Uh, knowing what I know now, oh man, I would have done this change years ago if I could have. I'm a bit biased, but I believe I am the best person to help you finally make that breakthrough like Hugo, Dr. Amin, Avalon's and other hundreds of clients have coached. If you're a busy professional, a success minded individual, you want to be at high peak performance in your career and in your personal life, you want endurance and energy, then fill out the form in the description below and book a call with me. How should you go about it first? First and foremost, you must be in an energy deficit and make sure that the size of the diet is appropriate, preferably a higher protein diet or like I call it a hyper protein diet, moderate carbon, lower fat. For example, a 200 pound male at 30% body fat eats roughly 2,500 calories to be in a caloric deficit. From that 2,500 calories, I would give them 1.3 grams of protein per pound of body weight. For him, that would be exactly 260 grams of protein. 20% of the total calories should go towards fat, which equates to roughly 56 grams of fat and the rest towards carbohydrates, which is 240 grams. I quite often hear from people that they want to cut carbs and they cut too quickly to get quicker progress. But I always advise that starting at a higher carb and utilize them as a source of energy in the gym to build strength and consequently muscle. But as time passes, you can slowly pull from your carb intake to stay in a caloric deficit. 
To increase the rate of fat loss and being able to reveal your six pack quicker, let's say of going from 0.5% to 1%, decrease your carbs by 20 grams, which is 100 calories every week instead of every two weeks. It's true that you need to have a well-developed core for your abs to fully show. Just know that no matter how great your core muscles are developed, you'll not achieve that look you want if your body fat percentage is too high. And the driving force of fat loss is the diet, aka a caloric deficit. And most people don't have their abs revealed because they fail at the dieting. So my recommendation, and this is a benefit that I've seen with my clients that have sped up their progress, is having a hyper protein diet. And I mean going above and beyond the one gram per pound of protein. So hear me out, why so much protein? Number one, it's satiating. So you're gonna feel very full eating this diet and it's very likely going to restrict the amount of calories that you eat consequently. The second thing is that you're going to be training your abs and your muscle tissue. Why not take the step further and make sure that you're building as much muscle as possible by eating a higher protein diet? Unless you have any pre-existing conditions, it should be safe to eat a higher protein diet. These two factors, the satiation and also the better recovery on higher protein diet is what will be able to speed up your fat loss. Obviously coupled with a caloric deficit, let's go into step number two. Step two, the walking formula. The following chart I've taken from Very Fit Well. I've left it in the description for anyone interested in finding out how many steps you burn per milli. For a cardio, we know that walking taps mainly into fat stores and is arguably the most sustainable form of cardio in the world. So what is the smartest way to speed up your six pack? We know that 3,500 calories is equal to one pound of fat. According to this chart, at 5'8", which is my height, and at 200 pounds, you burn roughly 495 calories per 10,000 steps. So if you walk 10,000 steps for seven days in the week, you burn a total of 3,465 calories. Let's call it 3,500 calories, or we're just burning one pound of fat from walking alone. To speed your fat loss up by 50%, which is 1.5 pounds, you only have to walk 15,000 steps. What you may be saying right now is no ways I can walk 15K steps. The simple solution is to jog or run, which means you can get more steps in a shorter period of time. It's that simple. Basically, the more fat you want to lose, the more you're going to have to move. The modality of what type of cardio perform is totally up to you. So in my experience, these are a few ways that you can boost your steps. Number one, stand up every hour within the waking day and walk around for five minutes, even if it's just pacing around. You should be able to get at least 2,000 to 3,000 steps throughout the day. And my calculations have calculated that you can get up to 6,000 steps just standing up for five minutes every hour. On top of that, you can walk in between each and every single set of your exercise. So we know you need a minute rest, right? So instead of being on your phone, you can walk around in the gym or around your machine for one minute. And I have calculated that should be at least 2,000 steps. So 6,200 steps. So we've gotten 2,200 steps in between our workout. If you're doing 10K a day, that's 20% done without even having to do any formal cardio. So instead of going, doing your set, being on your phone, you can be active, get your steps done, and get towards your goal because that's what you're here for. So between just standing up between every hour and walking between your sets, that's already 8,000 steps. On top of that, waking up early will really help you get more steps and also just getting onto the treadmill to be able to get extra steps. There's so many ways, but just set yourself the goal and figure out what works best for you. Step number three. Now let's move on to the scenario with a poorly developed six pack. No matter what the fat percentage is, the long-term approach to having an amazing six pack is to develop your ab muscles, progressively overload them like you would your chest or your biceps. The more muscle tissue you have on your abs, the more you'll see them at a higher body fat percentage. This is why I tend to see my abs even when I have a more than high fat tissue covering them. Before I give you the exercises to speed up the development of your abs, the answer is very simple, do more. If you're a beginner, I would recommend doing it every three days. However, if you want to develop and speed your six pack up quicker, then I would recommend doing it every two days. To determine the three best ab exercises for the complete six pack, we need to look at those that promote a greater recruitment of muscle fibers. 
The electromyographic activity analysis allows us to expose the quality of the exercises proposed and consequently choose and order the exercises properly in a training session. The EMG data from Broke, Burns and Buskies showed that the crunch has the most activity in the six pack. Like with any other body part, progressive overload is necessary for growth and therefore the absolute best workout is a cable crunch. I recommend a rep range of 10 to 15 reps, doing at least four sets with 20 seconds rest in between the sets. Another at home variation of the cable crunch is the classic ab crunch. Form is extremely crucial to perform both exercises. This can also make or break you if you're properly trying to develop your abs. With an ab crunch, focus on getting a deep contraction, as much flexion in the spine as possible. To allow maximum flexion, exhale as you crunch and imagine curling your head into your knees, the lower abs. Done properly, hanging leg raises are the king of all ab exercises. The EMG data from Bowick, Burns and Buskies show that the hanging leg raise are the most effective exercise for the lower abs at obtaining the well-developed lower core. The home version of this workout is the equivalent to a knee tuck or a reverse crunch and pike up. I post tons of these videos on my Instagram at drmike.eth, so be sure to follow them there. Finally, the last exercise. The oblique abdominals work harder in twisting actions. The external oblique rotating to the trunk to the opposite side while the internal oblique rotates it to the same side. Thus, in right trunk rotation, the right internal and left external oblique are active. The EMG data from both Burns and Buskies also goes to show that even in the case of the rectus abdominis and the external and internal oblique muscles, true isolation is impossible. Every time you engage in any type of core exercise, both the central as well as the lateral stabilizers or in other words, the abs and the obliques will be working. That being said, my all time favorite oblique exercise as I believe it completes that aesthetic look, include ones that provides lateral flexion and trunk rotation and that's the cable wood choppers. The home version of this workout would be the Russian twist. If you're a beginner, again, do these every three days. And if you want more progression and you want faster development of your abs, do them every two days. No excuses, you can do it at the gym or at home. Long term, as you keep on building muscle and adding tissue to your abs, you'll have them pop even at a healthier and higher body fat percentage. Now, I hope this video was helpful at being able to speed up your process. And a quick recap is, number one, being in a caloric deficit and decreasing your calories at a more quicker basis, although that isn't the best way to go about it, but decreasing by 100 calories or 20 grams of carbs each and every single week. Number two is having a hyper protein diet, which helps you with being fuller for longer and better recovery. Number two is being able to get more steps, move more. If you want to burn more calories, move more. And doing steps is just the baseline way of being able to track your overall cardio. And then finally, developing a really strong and thick core will allow you to see your abs at a quicker rate. So imagine you're shrinking your fat tissue and you're growing your muscle tissue at the same time. You get that double effect. That being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Right here, I'm showing you another video that I think you'd really be interested in with regards to the six pack. Comment down below where you are in body fat percentage and I will tell you what is the best way for you to get into shape. And if you wanna work with me directly, all you have to do is fill out the application in the description below, but I'll leave the video here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.